How's it going, six mates? This is Mr. Charles, and we are back with Scooby Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed Game Boy Advance Edition. They're, they're basically everywhere, you know? What can you do about that? Okay, previously we had Monsters Fall from the Sky, and I have to make a, a confession here. Well, more like an apology, actually. I'm really sorry my hair was a mess last episode. It's been a mess all day. That's why I wear headphones. Not so, oh yeah, it'd be convenient for the sound system all that. I just genuinely want my hair to look good. Um, it, it just kind of sticks up when it's short like this. But yeah, I, I'm sure you guys don't mind about that. I'm sure if you guys are here, you're just here to find out what happens. What atrocity will I have to deal with next? Well, we're about to see what we've got here. What's in the next, what's in the next Scooby-Doo visual novel chapter game? Old time mining town alley. Uh, okay, why would they have an alley? Also, is it necessarily going to be a town? Or is it just like an attraction? Or, oh, no. I'm asking too many questions for something that really doesn't have the answers. Shaggy and Scooby jump out of the window and into an alley. Alright, does that mean they die? How, how high are we talking here? Okay, whatever. Scooby lands on top of Shaggy. Oh, okay. The skeleton man jumps out of the window after them. Uh, top of hill. Alright, did, did, did anything really happen in that last scene? Did we need to know that? Alright, Sh Shaggy and Scooby reach a dead end. They stand at the top of a hill. They're trapped. Shaggy spots some old trash cans. He grabs the lid off one of them and places it on the edge of the hill. What? Oh, okay. Is this when they sled down the mountain or some crap? Again, yes. I, my knowledge of this movie really precedes me here. Or uh, I don't know. Emphasize. I'm smart. Come on. Shaggy jumps onto the lid and pushes off, riding it like a snowboard down the hill. How cool! Scooby sees the skeleton man coming and grabs the other lid. Okay, cool. Oh, so we're gonna slide down the mountain. Oh, it's all downhill. Wow, good pun. You know what? Whoever made that pun deserves a raise. I know I made that joke last episode, but it was a good joke. Help Shaggy slide down the hill on the trash can lid. Watch out for the trees and falling objects. All right, I'll try. No promises there. Okay, let's see how this... Oh, no. Oh, there's a timer. Oh, no. Whoa! Oh, this feels horrible. I can't. Go for... What the... What the... This is agony! Wow! Yeah, I would turn, but I'm being kind of attacked here. No, I can't turn! Wow! This is actually... I'm trying, but it's not doing anything! Is there something maybe I'm not grasping? No! This guy's just attacking me! Turn! Okay, no, don't fall off. Oh, God. Oh, no. I'm definitely going to die in a minute. Oh, oh, that's a shame. Oh, God, please give me some food. Oh, no, I don't want to die. No, he's right behind me. I'm about to get butt raped. Oh, this is rape. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> Fine, you know what? I still made it without losing a life. I was so sure I'd lose a life there. But guess what? I didn't. I'm a snowboarding expert. God, now I know why fucking accidents happen on fucking snowboarding mountains and people die, though. Still a fucking nightmare. Okay, cool. On to the next bit. Bottom of hill. The rest of the gang pulls up in the mystery machine just in time for them to slide into its open door. Okay, how convenient. Also, how safe? That must be very safe, considering the speeds I was going. <laughs> I barely made it, though. You guys okay? No! Okay, sure, as long as you define okay as in total agony. Yeah, that sounds about right. To headquarters! Oh, yeah, I forgot they have that in this film. I don't... I mean, technically, wouldn't the mystery van be headquarters? It's such a weird thing for them to have. They're teenagers, not like entrepreneurs. But that'll be the first place the monsters will look for us. I know where to go. Fred puts the pedal to the metal. Alright, well, I don't know why I done it like that, but okay. And the van screeches off. Yeah, and then they go back to their old places and like, Oh, remember this place? We used to have some proper fun here back in the day. But the viewer's probably like, well, you never went there. It's... Everything happens in the fucking mystery van. 
They don't have a headquarters. It's just this weird thing they probably fucking did because Thunderbirds was all right. Like, in 2003 or whenever it was. All right, cool. I just don't get why we have a... They had secret headquarters. Wait. Wait, we went... To, what happened there? This is... Sorry, the van went to the old mining town. Am, am I being weird? Maybe I hallucinated. That must be it. I've played so much Scooby-Doo now. I hallucinated that the van went to the mystery place. Or the, the, um, the mining place. But we're actually at the mystery place now. Okay, cool. Well, this is an old clubhouse, which had nothing to do with the plot, but we'll just put it in. Uh, the van screeches to a hole, and Velma jumps out, holding the control panel. She heads towards the gang's old clubhouse. The rest of the gang follow her, or follows her. All we have to do is rewire the control panel, bring it back to the monster hive, and we can... Reverse the current. Oh, smart thinking, Fred. With your blue eye. I don't know why they added that. Maybe they weren't meant to, like... It's not as obvious on an actual Game Boy Advance, I don't know. Therefore, reversing the monster making process. We plug it back in the base, pull the lever, and instead of creating monsters, we destroy them. Okay, cool. Well, <laughs> science succeeds again, I guess. Alright, Circuit Mania. Help repair the control panel by connecting the two points with the pieces of wire to make a circuit. Alright, interesting levels we're having so far. I mean, they're, they're suddenly going in different directions. It's not just moving along now. God, man, I want more boss fights. And when I say boss fights, not like tons of them. I want, like, another Black Knight Ghost boss fight. I liked that one. It was cool. Press the R button when you're done to test what you've built. Alright, am I going to lose any lives if I test what I've built, though? Oh, hello. Oh, oh, okay. Well, this seems relatively safe. Uh, yes. Uh, can I rotate? Not really. Okay. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I'm just kind of guessing at this point. Does anyone else know what's going on? Because I don't. Uh, okay. So. Do I have to just put them all in? No, just. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So I've got to actually think for once. Now, I'm not that qualified for that, if I'm honest. But that's fine. We'll get the big stuff in first. Fine. Then I'll put this one here. Then I'll put this one here. Oh, or do I have to connect the button to the... Okay, so then... Yay! Cool. Great. That wasn't so bad. Oh, we've got to keep doing it. All right. Uh, again, it doesn't sound so bad, if I'm honest. Uh... Perfecto. Yes. Oh, uh... Yeah, shit. Okay, well, this isn't really a struggle. This is just kind of, you know, trying to work out how things work. This is just like some, something you did in science class years and years ago. I don't like how it flashes, though. Uh, so put that there. Oh. Uh, uh... Put that there for the sake of it. Perfect. Yes. I hope you're getting this, guys. I hope you're playing the game and you need a walkthrough. You're using this guide. I don't really know what to say. I don't know what I can say. This is just literally like some kind of strange Tetris. Some very strange Tetris. Uh, and then... Fine. Well, that was easy. Cool. Great. Can we get back to me being frustrated? Yay! I guess. F! I fucking solved that shit for you! I... Fine, cool. You take, I do this shit for you, and you say, "Ah, oh, you shit. You're a failure." Personally, I think I did better in that than I did the snowboard thing. The snowboard thing, I failed at. But that, at the very least, I grasped at the last minute and got everything working quite quickly. I might add, the last one anyway. All right, Mystery Inc's old clubhouse. Fred, Daphne, and Velma spot one of the monsters approaching the clubhouse. It's Captain Cutler's ghost. Okay. The monster's found us. We'll have to take the control panel with us and head to the monster hive. As Fred drives the van out of the woods onto a city street, Captain Cutler's ghost chases them. Then Velma looks out of the window and sees the pterodactyl ghost swooping toward the van. Oh, we're going to be able to see that guy again. God, I remember going against him and it was not fun. 
He was a bit annoying, actually. Eh, whatever. Jinkies! Tweety's back. Okay. So I thought I said tweenies. I was thinking this is completely different. I'm putting us in cruise, Shaggy. Take the wheel. Alright. Wouldn't it be smart to get Daphne to do it? I imagine she's more practical and hands-on anyway. Me? But I left my permit at home. Okay, cool. I mean, didn't Shaggy and Scooby live in that van for some time in the first film? So surely he'd know how to drive the... Uh, I don't know. Take the wheel of the mystery machine and escape from the pterodact... Oh, it's a driving game now! Wow! We really want this game just to be absolutely everything it can be! Alright, cool. Running into other cars will make you lose your cool. Oh, I'm sure you're going to make me fail this as well, so why not? Oh god, whoa, this is fu- Jesus Christ. Alright, well, this is hurting my eyes. I don't know how you guys must feel. Oh god, this is horrible on the eyes. Oh no. Oh, this is much better. I mean, now everything's not flashing and hurting me. Oh. Please don't touch me. Pterodactyl, please. Alright, well, this is actually a nice little minigame. I like... Well, I like it to the point where I just lose all my health. No, oh, come on. What? What's... Uh, you know what? There's so much to focus on. This is actually, like, making my brain kind of black out right now. No! no. Oh, God. Don't try this at home. Stop eating me! Oh, my God. No, the end has to be here. The end has to be near. No, what the? Why did you crash? Get away from me. I can't deal with all this shit. No. I just got raped by a fucking fuel vat. Oh, okay. I got more lives. Wait, those are my lives. No, get away from me. Stop attacking me. Oh, God. End me. End this. What is this? Oh, God, what is going on? No. Oh, somehow made it. Yeah, fuck off, you piece of shit. I preferred you when you were green. And, you know, attack... All right, D. Well, I kind of deserve that. that. That went worse than any of them because I actually lost something. But you know what? Fine. D. I'll take it. Whatever. The score system in this piece of shit is a piece of shit. <sighs> the old time mining town. The van skids to a halt. Velma grabs the control panel out of the van while the rest of the gang gets out. Alright gang, the monster hive is right up there. Let's go and plug this baby in. Suddenly the black knight ghost appears. Oh no. You'll go nowhere, knave. Take the long way round. I'll hold him off. Come on. The 10,000 volt ghost appears. He creates a fence of electrical currents that prevents the gang from entering the hive. You guys go. I'll take care of Sparky. Uh, okay. Um, I actually remember getting stuck on Sparky. Actually, to be honest, it was the one bit... I never got further than the 10,000 volt ghost. He's my favourite ghost, don't get me wrong. And, like, I've been looking forward to this point of the game in particular. Because once I binged this game all at once when I was a kid to get this far. Because I couldn't save or whatever, because... You know, I had to remember passwords, but I didn't write them down anywhere. Fucking... This ghost, this ghost is like trying to beat up a, a childhood bully. So, might be a bit short, but I'm going to end the episode here because I want to dedicate an episode to that electrical piece of shit. But anyway, if you guys can't wait for that, if you guys want to do a 10-year-old Mr. Charles and play the game up to this point and beat the ghost, then there'll be a link to the game in the description down below. And without further ado... Look back to the channel. Until next time, see ya!